Welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews. I am Eric, and today I am super excited to talk to you about this completely wireless, rechargeable pool vacuum robot cleaner uh, by a company called Aper. And this is an Aper Smart uh, robot pool cleaner. It is completely wireless. You see there are no wires attached. Uh, you do have to plug it in to charge it, but in your pool, there's no wires. It doesn't have to hook up to your uh, your uh, pump system. It doesn't have to be hooked up to power. It has a battery inside of it that fully runs it and it runs all over your pool and uh, cleans the floor of your pool. Uh, I was very excited to find this because uh, I've been saying forever they need to make uh, a pool cleaner that's wireless, that's rechargeable, so you don't have to deal with the wire and everything. And uh, this one fits that bill. It cleans the bottom of your pool really well without any wires and it's very easy to use. It's also very lightweight and fairly small as you can see. I'm just holding it here, uh, which is a stark contrast to the other pool robot that I have and that I use. And I'll talk about the differences between that one and this one a little bit later on. Uh, first, I want to just go over some of the basic features of this and how it's designed. And then I'm going to show you uh, me uh, setting it off after it's been charged up, putting it in the pool and getting it going. And you'll see some footage of it in action as well. So you can see it's very uh, fairly small. It's basically uh, two pieces, the top piece and the bottom piece. The, the top piece houses the uh, battery and the pump inside of here. The bottom piece is basically your core door as well as your wheels to get around. And uh, uh, this has a uh, screen filter inside of it so that as it's uh, riding around on the bottom of your pool, it has two uh, places here on the bottom where it's sucking in water and both of those. And it's got these little uh, squeegees that kind of help pick up the dirt and stuff. And they go in, they get sucked up in there. And then the water flows out through here and the screen traps the dirt and stuff uh, down inside here. And you'll see later it picks up it does a good job. Got lots of dirt and stuff off the bottom of my pool. Uh, so it works really, really well. Uh, you've got these little clips. You unclip these to take this off. And then you've got the screen and the bottom section that's holding all the dirt and debris that you clean out. And again, you'll see that later. Uh, you've got this nice little handle to carry it around as well as when it's done. Uh, it basically goes back and forth all over the floor of your pool. Uh, it is a quote unquote random pattern. Uh, but not completely random. Uh, these wheels are adjustable. There's about four different uh, modes that you can change the wheels and switch them a little bit, and that makes it go in a different pattern. So if you uh, first test it out and it's the pattern doesn't seem to be evenly covering your pool the way you want it to, then there are four different wheel configurations to change the pattern that it goes in to make it work best for your pool. Now, my pool is one of the most oddly shaped pools in the history of the universe. Uh, every vacuum I've used has a really hard time uh, covering it because it is not square, it is not circular, it is completely random, uh, which was intentional by design, but horrible for pool vacuums. Uh, but this guy did a good job uh, covering it because it does, it, it goes as soon as it gets to a wall, it turns and goes a different way and it just eventually covers everything. And then when it's done, uh, when the battery is getting low and it's, it's done doing its cleaning, it make sure it ends up against a wall. And then you have a hook that they provide. That hook just hooks into a pole and you just reach down and pull this up. Uh, and I was really impressed with how lightweight it is, uh, especially in comparison to my other pool robot. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Right now, I'm gonna jump over and show you uh, me sitting it up and sitting it on its way inside my pool. So here I have my Aper Smart uh, pool robot and it's very lightweight, very simple. Basically, you're going to take it and I'm going to sit it down in the pool. It fill up with water. I see the bubbles coming up there. Once it is full of water, and there's no more bubbles coming up, then you're ready to go. So now I'm just going to turn it over so that I can see that power button. And I'm going to hold down the power button to power it on. It's making a little beeping noise. And there you go. You can see it. And now I'm dropping it. It's going to hit the ground. And off it goes. It's 
So you can see, very easy. You just uh, set it down in there, let it fill up with water, press that power button, and send it on its way, and it's off. And you can see, it's just scooting across my pool. I was uh, surprised about how fast it moves. It moves much faster than my old uh, vac uh, robot that attached to my pool vac system uh, did, uh, and actually faster than my other electric robot that I have that I use. Um, it, it scoots across, and it picks up well while it's doing that. Um, now let's jump over and I'll show you after it was done, me pulling it out of the pool and you can also see all the stuff that it picked up off the bottom of my pool. So when the robot is through, you just use the hook into the pool, go down and hook on to the handle and lift it up. And it's going to beep at you when you pull out of the water, so you long press it, turn the power off, and then you just have to empty out the bin from all the stuff that it picked up off the bottom of the pool floor. Now that it's done doing its thing. You unhook that and take the lid off. And here's your screen. You can kind of see all the stuff. And if you look in there, you can see all the dirt and stuff and bugs, gross stuff that it picked up off of the uh, bottom of the pool floor. And so now I just need to go rinse these out and then it will be ready Then I charge it up and then it'll be ready to go the next time. So you can see it did a great job picking up all the dirt and some bugs and gross things on the bottom of my pool. Uh, it did a really good job of picking that stuff up. Uh, now, is this going to completely replace my Matronics? My other robot is a Matronics robot and it has a power cord that it attaches to. And this is not going to replace that because that robot, uh, it has rubber uh, scrubbers on it, so it literally scrubs the bottom of the pool floor. It also scrubs the walls and the uh, tile line of the pool because it climbs walls. This one doesn't climb walls and this one doesn't scrub. It just picks up the dirt and debris off the bottom of your pool. Uh, that's its purpose. So this isn't going to replace that Matronix one. Uh, the Matronix one also, besides having the screen filter, also has a ultra, ultra fine filter, basically the same as the filter that's in your pool system to really filter the water itself. So it's not just picking up uh, dirt and debris off the bottom of the floor, it's also filtering the water. And this isn't doing that so much. Th that's not the purpose of this. So I am going to still be using the Matronics robot, but the problem about that is because it has a cord and that one is so heavy, I could not sit here and hold that one the way I'm holding this one. And when I pull that one out of the water, like I literally have to use two hands and be careful that I don't screw up my back because it is, I don't know how exactly how much it weighs, but it feels like it's probably close to picking up like a 50 pound weight uh, when I pull it out of the water uh, because it's, it's so big. It's like at least twice the size of this one. Um, what I love about this one is it's small, it's easy to work with, the fact that there's no wires and it's rechargeable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep using the Matronix one once a week because that's it's such a big ordeal, that's about all I have in me to use it. Uh, but I'll use this one like two to three times during the week in between to just pick up the stuff off the bottom of the pool floor. Because uh, that's the main thing. I mean, stuff that goes into your pool, it generally is either gonna end up in the uh, basket, uh, the, the uh, skimmer basket, because the skimmer pulls that stuff in if it floats. If it doesn't float, then what happens? It falls to the bottom of the pool floor and then just sits on the floor until you pick it up somehow. And so that's why I love this one because it's so simple and so small and so easy to just throw in there and just let it take off and run for an hour or so and pick up all the dirt and stuff off the floor. And if I'm running this one like that, you know, two or three times during the week, then the Matronic one, when Matronics, when I put it in there, it's not going to have to worry about that stuff because most of that stuff's already going to be gone from this. It can worry about filtering the water and scrubbing the uh, floor and scrubbing the walls, and it can be focused on that. So to me, I think it's great. I, I like having both. 
Um, but this one is awesome. I, I'm very, very uh, happy with it and excited about it. Um, I've been saying forever that I wanted, I wish someone would make a lightweight, rechargeable, uh, no wires needed uh, pool robot vacuum. And uh, AFR must have heard my prayers and decided to answer them because they did with this little guy. Um, it is a really excellent product. It works really well. It covered my pool really well. And again, my pool is a crazy shape. Um, but the fact that you can also change the wheels around the wheel configuration in order to get different patterns to make sure it's going to work in your pool, that's great. Um, it's just easy to work with. It's easy to clean. It's easy to charge and use. And uh, I have no complaints about it. It does exactly uh, what uh, it should do and what you would expect a nice little uh, rechargeable wireless pool vac like this to do. So again, it is by Apier Smart, and it is definitely a product I would highly recommend. Now this is available on Amazon. I will have a link in the description below to the product on Amazon. You can click that link. You can jump over there, read what other people have said about it, and pick one up for yourself. That's going to be it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who might be interested in this product, share this video with them. All those ways are down there. If you have any questions, anything I failed to cover, feel free to post it uh, in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get back with an answer as quickly as I can. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel to keep up with future uh, videos, or favorite this playlist, and keep up with future product reviews. Anyway, that's going to be it. Until next time, so be safe and be happy. <laughs>